Nung nakaraan, ginawa natin yung unboxing and review ng The Prima System ng Boundary. Ngayon, isa sa mga bagay na hindi ko nabanggit nung nakaraan is medyo na yung delivery nila ng dalawa sa mga accessories na in-order ko. And sa wakas! Finally, na-deliver na nila sa akin yung dalawang item na hindi nila naibigay sa akin nung nakaraan. That is the PK1 case and the transient case from Boundary. Hello everybody, this is Patrick and this is the review of the transit case and the PK1 case from Boundary. I've been using the Prima system for about uh, 5 months now. Ngayon, uh, nagamit ko na siya under the rain, uh, nahulog na siya, nabalandra ko na kung saan saan, and as of now, it survived. And I'm totally happy with the bag that I've been using. Doon ko talaga na-feel na yung binayaran ko eh sulit na sulit, comparing it to your other bags, yung mga luxury bags. Kung mahal man ito, it's because it's really durable, highly modular, and functional. So, wala akong pagsisisi pagdating dito sa bag na to. And katulad nga dun sa nasabi ko nung nakaraan, kadideliver lang nila sa akin nung uh, dalawa sa mga accessories na in-order ko. And I'm happy to review it for you. The PK1 case. This is Boundary's version of a packing cube which is meant to pack clothes worth 1 to 2 days of travel. The overall material use is Boundary's 210 nylon cauldra with TWR coating making it water resistant. Mesh material is also used to make it breathable and give itself an allowance to expand to pack up your clothes inside it. It also incorporates a waterproof pouch for your wet or dirty clothes pack at the same packing cube. YKK zippers are also used, making the zipper seamless as you open or close it. This packing cube is also expandable. From a 2 liter, it can become a 4 liter with a simple turn of the zipper. Either you can pack a small amount of clothes or an additional space for your dirty ones. The Stormproof Case This case is dedicated for your phone, cards, and pen, which makes your essentials much more accessible, convenient, and easy to reach. This has nylon inside which makes your phone cozy and protected against scratches. A slot on the body can be used to put your ID or access cards to the stretchable strap for your pen. This is also coated with Boundary's DWR coating, making it tough and water resistant. Now, what I'm holding right now is Boundary's packing cube. Basically, ito yung version nila ng packing cube nila. Katulad nga nung nabanggit ko kanina, itong bag na to would be uh, can pack clothes up to 1 to 2 days. Basically, kung you can pack here 2 pants, 2 underwears, a sock, and 2 shirts. And then, meron kang zipper dito sa likod na just in case gusto mong paglagay ng maruruming damit or mga wet clothes, pwede mo ilagay dito. And then, from a 2 liter pouch, pwede mo siyang gawing 4 liter pouch. Yan, so expandable siya. Ngayon, bukod doon, Kung gusto nyo magdagdag, let's say, ng mga handkerchiefs or towel, pwede nyo rin ilagay dito. Now, we have the transit case. Dito naman sa transit case na to, basically, lahat ng mga bagay na essential sa'yo, katulad ng mga cards, IDs, and cell phones, pwede mong ilagay rito. Ngayon, kung magta-travel ka, let's say, sa airport, pwede rin mo rin ilagay dito yung passport mo. Well, passport and your boarding pass. So ngayon, papakita ko sa inyo kung paano magpack ng mga damit dito sa loob ng packing cube. So let's say for example, pupunta ako ng gym, ito yung mga bagay na dadalhin ko uh, para makapag-gym ako. So I'll open up the PK1 case. So first, ilalagay ko muna tong towel, underwear. By the way, tong underwear na to, never been used. Just to let you know, my shirt and my pants. Ngayon, just in case um, gusto kong meron ako mapaglagyan ng mga maruruming damit, bubuksan ko lang tong zipper natin sa likod. And then, as you can see, meron tayong water resistant na uh, pouch dito kung saan pwede nyo ilagay yung mga marurumi o mga basahan yung damit. So ngayon, napapakita ko naman sa inyo kung paano magpack ng mga damit good for two days. So I've got two shirts, two underwears, and two jeans. So 
So, this is your transit case. So, kung gusto nyo meron kayo mapaglagyan ng phone, passports, cards, uh, and it is easily accessible sa inyo, ito yung kunin nyo. So, right now, I'm going to demonstrate to you kung paano gamitin to. Okay? So, if you want to put your passport, pwede nyo siyang ilagay dito. Or, your, or your cards, pwede nyo ilagay dito. And then, your pen, dito sa slot na to. So, as you can see, stretchable yan. So, kahit anong klase yung ballpoint, pwede nyo ilagay yan dito. So, ito yung nakikita kong problema ngayon. So, as you can see, meron, tayo, meron akong iPhone 7 dito. And then, I'm using an outer box. Kaya, pag masyadong malaki yung case nyo, hindi ito magkakasya dito sa loob ng uh, transit case. So, if you're going to get this one, you have to make it sure na yung phone nyo hindi ganun kalaki. Or at least, kung naka-iPhone 7 man kayo, uh, either gagamit kayo ng maliit na case lang or walang case. Eh, depende na lang sa inyo kung anong preference nyo. So, what you have inside now here are your pen, your passport, your card, and your iPhone. And this time, ipapakita ko naman sa inyo kung paano may integrate yung dalawang accessories na yun sa Prima system. So, all you have to do is open this one up. Now, we have the PK1 case. Puno ng damit. And there. Sa loob na siya. Ngayon naman, let's put on the transit case. So, all you have to do is open this one, unbuckle it, and then these two slots, kailangan yung ipasok dito sa mga slots na to. Okay, there you have it. So, ngayon, ipapakita ko sa inyo kung ano itsura niya pag sinuot nyo. Okay? And then, bakal nyo lang siya dito. So, basically, gato itsura niya pag sinuot nyo na siya. So, ito na yung transit case. And nasa loob yung PK1 case. Ngayon, ito ang isang bagay na hindi ako sigurado. So, kung maalala nyo, ito yung camera compartment sa loob ng Prima system. And we also have our strap here. Transit case is compatible with the verge case. So, as you can see, this is your verge case. Ito yung compartment para dun sa mga camera, sa camera nyo. And then, ito yung bag strap para dun sa Prima system. What you can do with this is, from your Prima system, you can take it out and you can connect it to your verge case. And you can use this one as a standalone camera bag or a multipurpose bag. Ngayon, I'm not sure kung itong transit case was designed para magamit dito sa uh, strap na to. So, if you can use the transit case together with the verge case and the strap, napakagandang uh, combination nun. So, let's try putting it on. So, saktong-sakto lang siya. Though, hindi siya ganang ka-stable comparing it to your uh, Prima system. But, ito, pwede mo siyang gamitin. So, if you want to use your verge case or your multipurpose bag, together with your transit. Okay na okay siya. Isa din feature na napansin ko dito sa bag na to or sa dito sa transit case is that as you can see, uh, water resistant siya. So hindi hindi basa-basa pwedeng mabasa yung mga nasa loob or yung mga contents ng transit case. Kasi kahit umuulan, pag pinol mo siyang ganyan, completely sealed off yung loob ng transit case. So, kahit maulanan yan, hindi yan magsisipin dito sa gilid. Making it sure na hindi mababasa yung loob. Isa sa mga best feature ng bag na to is this is highly modular. So, as you can see, meron tayong mga accessories dito. Additional accessories na akala mo, simple yung bag lang. But, as you can see, this is highly integrated to the Prima system. So, if you like organization ng mga damit mo and you want it compact, and as you can see, they have tough materials na ginamit para dito, you can get the PK1 case. And if you want to have much more access and utilitarian and matibay na, tra na case, you can use the transit case. As you can see, it will give you an, er, an easy access to your essentials such as your uh, passport, phones, and pens, and cards. 
lalo na pagdating sa airport. Di ba sa airport meron tayong mga kailangang pirmahan? Lalo na pag mag-disembark ka, kailangan mo ng pen. Madali mo na makuha. If you want to have your passport, madali na rin. And also, also your boarding pass. Pwede mo siyang ilagay dito. Or let's say you want to have an easy access for your cards. Meron din. It's all about convenience and functionality. Para sa akin, yung mga accessories na feature natin ngayon are highly integrated, highly functional, durable, and highly modular. Itong mga accessories na to, ang sa tingin ko na kailangan nyo para sa Prima system. Generally, it completes the whole system para ma-maximize nyo yung functionality ng the Prima system. And for me, it is worth every buck that you spend. Thank you very much for watching my video. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you have comments and suggestions, comment down below. And see you on the next one.